Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey here once again with another video on Supergirl Season 3, and this is going to be my trailer breakdown for Episode 7, otherwise entitled Wake Up, and that's a pretty fitting title. Now, obviously, before we get into the rest of the video, let's actually watch the trailer. Past couple of months when I dream, I see, I see Monel. God, it's unreal. It's incredible. You have to learn more about the ship Monel was on. Why did you wake up? How is he breathing? Those are the other changes. Are they dangerous? You're different. Is it not you? It's me. They make me believe it. Supergirl. All new episode Monday at 8, 7 central on The CW. So last episode of Supergirl, that being episode 6, otherwise entitled Midvale, really didn't set up anything for this episode because last episode it was its like own self-contained story. Filler, obviously, like it is filler, but it was good filler, and I thought it was a very strong episode with no real faults. I really couldn't find anything faulty about it, apart from maybe the beginning of the end. I really couldn't care about the present day stuff. That flashback stuff was awesome. Let's get a spin-off show. Sort of like Smallville, but with that stuff. But before we jump into the actual breakdown of this trailer, we will quickly go over the synopsis because it does reveal some stuff that isn't really, you know, shown in the trailer. But before that, be sure to let me know in the comments section down below what you're looking forward to most in this uh, episode of Supergirl, as well as anything I talk about in the video. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. When Wynn and the team discover an alien ship has crash landed deep underwater beneath National City, Kara slash Supergirl is called to investigate. Meanwhile, Hank attempts to bond with his father. Samantha, eager for some understanding of the changes she has been experiencing, looks to her estranged mother, Patricia Arias, for answers. But the main thing I do want to mention from the synopsis, really the only thing, is around um, Samantha's mother, who's obviously known as Patricia Arias. Now, she will be played by Betty Buckley. Now, I want to bring her up because there was a movie last year, last year, was it last year? I want to say it was last year. Hopefully I'm right, or early beginning of this year, called Split, and she was like the therapist sort of person like the I'm just going to call it the counselor or therapist from that movie so it's awesome that she's in this episode playing Samantha's mother now at the end of episode five so not last episode but the episode before that we saw that ship under National City which we had actually seen at the big at the end sorry of episode one and someone was inside it and woke up so we we're like oh okay what's going on there a lot of the predictions were that it was Monel like that was the common theory like okay it's Monel because we knew he was coming back in around episode 7, maybe episode 9 at the latest. And of course, we find out in this trailer, it is mon and he's, you know, he's looking a bit out there. He looks like he's definitely been uh, isolated for a while. mon is definitely embracing that Speed Force Barry look, isn't he, with that beard and stuff, and looking a bit dazed and confused. At least he isn't, like, talking nonsense and writing on the walls, because, yeah, Barry, Barry made someone clean that up, and it wasn't very nice. Now, this episode does seem like it's going to be one big setup episode. So, we're bringing back Monel. Uh, Samantha's going to be learning more about her oh, her past. That's the best way to say it. Maybe not her powers, but her past at least. But Monel does seem to be the focus of this episode as the trailer is focusing on him. But we do see him acting really strangely. You know, we see him taking out some DEO agents, similar to when we first met him. So, it's sort of contrasting him coming back in this season is sort of like at the beginning of season two when he first woke up. If you remember that episode, he was going around the DEO, taking out people, going like, oh, what the hell? I've got all these powers. It's very similar to that. So, but it's not in like the same, it's just similar because I think in this case, he knows what he's doing. He might have a task, but obviously we're going to have to watch the episode to find out what he's really getting at. I did see a decent amount of people commenting on, obviously in the comment section of the trailer and they were wondering, like, oh, okay, why is Monel acting so weird? Like, what's up with him? Like, how long has he been gone for? Now, I'm not sure if this is 100% true. I've, like, heard it through the grapevine. But apparently, he has been gone for 10 years. So, he's, like, 10 years older, this Monel. So, he's gone away, as we saw at the end of Season 2, and he's come back. It's been 10 years in his life since that happened. So, a lot's happened in Monel's life. Obviously, I'm assuming we're going to be finding out in this episode or the episodes to follow about what happened to him in that time span. And for me to take a guess, I think some of it's going to be good and some of it's going to be bad for mon to be in this situation. Now, obviously, we did know that Legion of Superheroes will be coming in this season. You would have to think it's in this episode. You'd think mon was with the Legion of Superheroes and they're on this, uh, this ship as well. We do see some of them sort of like waking up or at least one of them moving in the similar like orange uh, capsule thing that mon was in at the end of episode five. 
So it would be interesting to see who we meet. It might only be one. I know that Sassin Girl is meant to be popping up in Supergirl. I'm not 100% sure if this, it's this episode. As a lot of you guys would know, I don't really keep up to date too much with the inside info of Supergirl. I just really play it by ear when the episodes come out. But I do know that she's meant to be coming in at some point this season. Once again, don't know if it's episode seven or if it's later on, but I think she's meant to be married to mon So that's going to be some drama, which I'm not really looking forward to, but I'll get into why I'm not looking forward to that in a second. But hopefully we meet more than just, you know, Satin Girl. Hopefully we meet more of the Legion of Superheroes, at least two or three more, similar to what we had on Smallville back in the day. It'd be pretty cool if we had like a similar number to what we had back then. Now, two things to mention that aren't really in the trailer, but do apply to this as I sort of did hint about you know, Kara and Monel's relationship. I'll talk about that after this. But the first thing I want to talk about is that it's a weird time to have this episode. And I think it's weird because the crossover is in the episode after this. And then it's the mid-season finale, which apparently is like the birth of Rain. So we're going to see Samantha. It might be towards the end of this episode, we see Samantha become Rain. But in episode nine, I know that Rain is meant to be, well, raining, if that makes sense. She's meant to be very powerful possibly in her new suit that we did see revealed like a week or two ago. So it's going to be weird, as I said, to have it in this episode, all of this, like a big setup, but maybe they're setting it up in all in this episode. So when we have the crossover and we come back for the mid-season finale, they can flesh some stuff out in that mid-season finale, maybe have Rain versus Supergirl, the first fight, and then leave it on that and then come back for the last half of the season and kick it off with a bang. And about the Kara and Monel stuff, a lot of you guys would know I do like both the characters of Kara and Monel. I like them both a lot, but I really don't like it when t they're together because I do think Monel props Kara down and Kara just becomes like a secondary character and the, and the show becomes all about Monel. So hopefully they've, that, that, that was a big criticism of season two. Like I think season two was a massive step up from season one of Supergirl, but one of the issues that they had was not really knowing what to do with Monel once they'd fleshed him out a bit. They really struggled with the character and to do something with him, they ended up propping Kara down or pushing her down. So hopefully they have figured out how to properly work both of the characters together if they are going to get back together in a, in a relationship. As I said, there's going to be some relationship drama because apparently he's married to Satin Girl. We'll have to wait and see if that's true. But I'm just hoping, almost like praying, that they figured out how to properly manage those two characters together on screen if they are in a relationship or not in a relationship. Just, you know, hopefully they've managed to figure out a way to, you know, not downgrade one of the characters to push another one up. Just have them on, have them on a level playing field so no one really gets angry because I think that's something that Supergirl needs to avoid this season. It started off really solid, very enjoyable. I don't think there's really been too week of an episode, I think like episode four maybe was week, I can't remember which one that was, um, but it started off really strong and hopefully, you know, in the back half of the season, due to Monel coming back into it, they don't dig themselves into a hole and the season sort of crashes and burns. Let's just hope that doesn't happen because I am enjoying Supergirl this season. But thanks for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it would be awesome if you could drop a like on the video to show your support for the Supergirl videos. Let me know in the comments section down below what you're looking forward to most in this episode and any of your opinions on what I've said in this actual video. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.